GMX Hood. Welcome back to my channel. This is GMX Reacts. And tonight, shout out to Jaleel1814 for putting this one in the comments and saying that he be waiting to see this one. It's the Legends Panel video that I have not seen. It's called Adele, Ariana Grande, and Selena Gomez. So let's see what happens in this one. <laughs> These are just jokes. Get your mind. Let's get on with it. Unlike a certain nobody on this panel, oh, I have a successful world tour to get back to. By the way, how is the unbreakable parking lot tour doing, Ratchet Nick Jackson? Ratchet. Coming to a discount shopping mall near you. Ratchet Nick. You pathetic Veterans Day cow. Why is this? <coughs> in the U.S. and abroad. However, only one of us was able to garner a number one album without promotion. Just a hint, it wasn't you, sis. So please reverse that hug around and roll up on my damn face. Oh, do we really have to go through this each and every time we come together? Like, damn. <laughs> Michael, the bitch is flopping harder than Nemo out of water. She's oh, thirsty damn. and desperate to swim with us. Dory, the forgotten fish, get lost or get filleted. <laughs> Madonna says, "Who's gonna take that? Cause no tea, no shade, but you are getting beer battered and beer fried." <laughs> I'll put on the cheese grits and hush puppies. Yes, I will. Praise Jemai. Why are you even providing commentary? You have a oh, I'm gonna say, really? Let me tell you something. I will bug smash you on somebody's geo prism headline. You are not real, <laughs> and this ain't racial roulette. So you can quit shooting off at the mouth looking for a target before you find yourself looking down the back. Okay. Okay. I said it once, and I shall say it again. The voice and the shade, bitch. What the fuck ever? Up next for consideration. Finally, up next for consideration, we have. Who the hell is this? I thought J Ho only had two kids. Prince, she's not J Ho's daughter. That's Selena Gomez with her single entitled Good For You. Good For You? For who exactly? Girl by Matanda Cinder. Unlabeled <laughs> packages allowed me. Oh, damn. That could be an irrelevant bone. If that's the case, let Fat Raya and Trent open it. Girl, come on. You're probably the one that sent it. Trying to pass your irrelevance onto somebody else. Please have <laughs> at least 300 gold plated bed pan seats. Enough. Wow. The second person <laughs> up for consideration is. Oh my god, this bitch. Wait a minute. Moat, is that my rope? You know what? Stratus clouds, bitch. Stratus clouds. <laughs> now hold up, Nippy. How dare you insult them babies? That is some sort of Harajuku Barbie that tried and failed at being me, then tried and failed at being Storm from X Men on Halloween. I mean, girl could have actually tried taking some notes from Beyonce, not me. I mean, she at least did it right. I just don't understand why she keeps remaking problems. This is part four, right? I don't know her. Sorry, I don't. <laughs> I'm pretty sure she doesn't know your struggle, Vocals, either. Oh. And we're all pretty sure you doesn't know you. Oop, that is, except your dried up raisin cooch. It seems to know you pretty well. You miserable sack of cellulite. Gather that skeleton, Mimi. <laughs> Gather it. Oh, wow. It's oh, such an honor, I must say, to even be considered so early in my career. Wait, considered for what? I mean, I have made some incredible strides in my career, but I wouldn't necessarily say that it's legendary, you know? Neither would we. But if you are taking out the time to scroll my resume, I will oblige you all. Selena, you are definitely not legendary. If you were thinking so, that's cute. Real cute. You see, right Damn. there, that's a misconception about me. People call me legendary. It's not a title I would choose to wear as a fast, you know, because I think I'm on a few levels above that. Bitch, where? I'm looking underneath my shoe and I only see a red bottom. How could you possibly <laughs> be above a legend? 
That's right. That's like saying the industry know nothing's Ariana Venti. It's the next Mariah Carey. <laughs> compare yourself to anybody in the industry. It's an even bigger thing to compare yourself to someone who is one third of the vocal trend. Well, Angel, you must not read your word. The Bible says in Shane Rippings, chapter 1, verse 1 through 4, she who knoweth not who she attempts to shake shall have an everlasting lot of third degree edge snatching, and it will endure it forever. There is no remembrance of the bowel more than of the fool. How shady the bowel one as a fool. Oh my god, 
why do we even have to listen to this nothingness? Yeah, Nick got the kids this weekend. I could be at home, Netflix and chilling with a billionaire bang. You know what? In fact, excuse me, y'all. <laughs> Mariah, what are you doing here? Aren't you supposed to be taping the Legends panel? <laughs> But the people that are up for consideration just aren't a deep enough subject matter for me. I mean, wait, gotta fix my hair. Okay. And it's still intact and unsnatched up. We've heard and seen what you both are offering. Oh, gosh. But I'm sorry. We just can't accept it at this time. I do, however, think you both deserve a spot on this panel. Mike, I think I see where you're going with this. Uh oh. We should consider deeming them as statements. They have done a little of this and a little of that. Uh -huh. And that's basically it. Nothing legendary or iconic, but statement worthy. Exactly, Dunk. All in favor of deeming thing one and thing two as statements? <laughs> Thing one and thing two. I thought this was that girl group that fought when one got knocked upside the head. What was the name of it? Dumb Brunette? Whitney, no. Oh my We're gosh. talking about Dumb Blonde. <gasps> Besides, Dawn already chopped them when she went oops upside all the head. <laughs> oh, okay. I love it. Team to no harm as statements. Praise God. Uh -uh. Bitch, I don't even see them as statements. Damn. Y'all like interrogatives. But I guess, tears, bitch. Hello. Oh, shit. It's me. And the plot thickens, bitch. Finally, an interesting subject. <laughs> I hope I'm not too late for the festivities. I received your invitation, but I didn't have time to RSVP and... <laughs> Oh, fucking hell. <laughs> if I miss Trunchbull, you must be Matilda after the jokey with you. 500 points for Gryffindor. I don't think it's tactful to say those type of things. You know, I mean, you are currently dominating the charts with your new single hello, but I would rather you just go away. Adios. You know, I find it very ironic when you're so low on the food chain that you feel that you have a say in what eats you. Bam. <laughs> she set fire to the scalps. What burns as I get my life? <laughs> yeah. Praise God. Like, I cannot is do it. If you think you're worthy to sit on the conference with the legend. With the conference. Little girl. <laughs> See, that's the difference between me and you, love. I'm not trying to prove myself. That's a game for the meek and misunderstood. Take a look around. Adele is everywhere. Even the blind boys of Alabama see that. I am the accolade, and I am the accomplishment. And there it is. Spoken like a true future legend. Well, I've heard all I need to hear. Right, because I'm in the mood for some Longhorn Steakhouse. I want a big uh. juicy steak covered in mushrooms and onions with some corn on the cob with a loaded baked potato and a <laughs> Y'all know I love when my hotline blink. <laughs> I'm ready to eat here. Okay. okay, everyone. Let's scrap the decision we made before deeming Aubrey and Shannon as statements. Oh, what is she? The dumb blind shade. Oh my god! Honey, you are the scantron and the number two pencil. Bitch, <laughs> your face must be in pain because you walked right into that one. <laughs> All right, legends, <laughs> give me one. One Adele. Two Adele. Praise God. One Selena and Ariana. Really, mate. Really? <laughs> what? I like Adele as much as the next bitch, but I just don't see it for her. I think Selena and Ariana have great potential. They have already replaced two insignificant bitches on this panel. Girl, shut Again, up. Again, one Selena and Ariana. Madonna, calm down. How to the no, to the no. No, no. <laughs> I said what I said. And what you said was some bullshit. <laughs> I am sick and tired of being overlooked. Hey, me, me, Kim. Now, either my decisions are respected or I will burn this bitch down. Why do you always have to be so difficult? And why do you always?
always have to be such a pushover. Grow some balls, bitch. Oh, <gasps> uh, did she just? Black Eagle time. I'm about uh, to send this bitch to the great forever. Ooh, Janet, baby, do you know why I keep that $5,000 underneath my mattress? Yes, I do. Okay, meet me at Main Street and first at the Bell Bond in about five minutes. I'm about to lay this ass flat. Don't worry with me. I got this. Uh -oh. Madonna, since you feel that way, I'm going to be the bitch that you just called me. Oh. Thank you for your services. Oh, okay, Shawnee. <laughs> <laughs> Sure did. Security, please take out the trash. This is ridiculous. I am the queen. Let go of me. Let go of me. Bitch, I live. I am getting my everlasting life with this episode. I don't have time and I am not the one. Ooh. Madonna has been suspended from the Legends panel for the next 60 days. <laughs> yes. The cake of Shay comes through yet again. Adele, you have done amazingly in your career in such a short period of time. You've broken records, blown back lace fronts, and dominated Billboard. We see it for you, but you haven't quite reached the required number of years to become a legend. I can live with that. I respect the process and I understand it. It feels pretty good to have the respect of the legends. Understanding what's going on here. If Samantha Smith's big sister was chosen over us, what happens to Ariana and I? This. <laughs> Man, I just bought this Oriana rope. I think Machella might left some things on the floor. She was being dragged out. Let me clean that up. One more. <laughs> what is this? Okay, then. For the footwork. <laughs> Okay, so that explains one of the other videos I watched when I asked. I was like, damn, did they keep Madonna off the panel? Now I see what happened. I'm sorry, y'all. I'm also dealing with a sinus infection today. I'm like really, really congested and swollen. But this was a good one. Shout out to Jalil again. I got this for you. <laughs> I was like, let me get this one before I hit the um the next part two of the finale. Um, which will be in my next set of videos. This was hilarious. Um, yeah. I like the idea of a statement versus an icon. <laughs> and I mean, I, I will, I mean, I will definitely say Ariana and Selena are definitely statements. I think Adele, um, I've said to y'all in the past videos, I don't listen to Adele's music, but I know that it's there and I know what kind of impact it has on those who it kind of resonates with. So I definitely think, you know, she is a legend or will be a legend, um, in the industry. All she has to do is drop. Um, and you know, it's, 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 impactful so <laughs> incredible i like good for you i don't necessarily love um this ariana like the beginning of her career i wasn't a huge fan um but now i am i like a lot of her music but now that she's a little bit more mature then um the first little pop horns and stuff like that i mean i like the song she had with iggy um problems but like focus and um even like the way I know Seven and Jordan Sparks wrote that song, but like I just I, I just couldn't fuck with with her music. But at that point, it was like she was still transitioning from Nick for me, and I just was like, Cat, um, Ariana, two different people. But I don't know. That was just like my little weird analogy. I think Selena had a pretty seamless transition into music. Um, so yeah, I like her music. <laughs> no, Rancing, that dumb blonde and dawn shade that they kept throwing, I was like not expecting that because you know. Oof. She said, Dawn. <laughs> Dawn. <laughs> I can't get it out. She said, Dawn canceled that ass as soon as she bounced or bopped Aubrey upside the head. 
I can't deal. It makes me think about when Elijah Blake said that shit on that encore um live when he said, "You think Dorn bop boy and boy ain't her head for no reason." Too funny, way too funny. This was shady as fuck for no reason. Let me know what you thought about it below. Comment, like, subscribe. Until next time, peace.